Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, December 2019, and bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month here is going to be the Ten of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you will have to overcome here, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. The third one stands for the intentions that uh, you have to incorporate, or rather like the best way how you can, uh, how you can tackle with things th throughout the month, that is going to be the uh, Four of Wands. Followed by the fourth one uh, that stands for the uh, lesson that you need to learn throughout the month of December or what the month is going to teach you of. That will be the strength card and the last or in this case in that deck it is the lust. And the last one refers to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. Uh, that is going to be the uh, king of pentacles well it is the knights of pentacles in this deck but it is represented by the king of pentacles in the traditional all right so uh the month is going to be entirely for sustainability okay so throughout the month here that is going to be the ten of cups this is the topic and it is look at that it is accompanied by the three of cups as well all right so uh, a very happy month, all right? Emotionally fulfilling month uh, in regards to relationships, in regards to career development as well. Those two cards are simply pointing, guys, that, um, how can I say it? Things are simply gonna happen for you, all right? Either career-wise or relationship-wise, uh, your efforts in whatever direction are simply going to start showing results. Not only that, but also you will see that many people share your vision as well. Many people share your idea. Many people are finding you for a, uh, a good match, okay? Either for their business or for a, for a relationship, if you will. And you will be able to share your emotional state as well. You know, either you want to cry or you want to be happy with. You will be able to share that emotional state with people as well. So the Ten of Cups with the Three of Cups, it points to a, a very good emotionally stable month where you're going to enjoy love, you're going to enjoy progress, you know, you're going to enjoy in generally a, um, a results that are happening which are making you feel happy, which are making you feel loved, which are making you feel exhilarated productive if you will because this is what those two cards are all about you know emotionally fulfillment of everything that it is going on around you and the best thing about those two cards is that there won't be any how do i say it um, any problems that are to appear into the things that you do 
freaking guy. So you're not gonna face many resistance. That is what I am trying to say here. Uh, then we go to the challenges, and that is going to be the three, the the seven, excuse me, of wands, and that will be accompanied with the uh, nine of pentacles. Active uh, neutrals, it is what we do have here, and that is obstruction, or at least attempt of obstruction from um, from people or from a, a person, from a, a specific person, that um, either they want what you have or they don't want you to have what you want. Either way, um, these, uh, for what it seems, these challenges are not going to be much of a challenges because uh, the only thing you got to do here is just ignore that person. Do not answer to their taunting, all right? Do not um, answer, for example, to the rumors that they are spreading and uh, so on and so forth. In other words, challenging wise, it is that you're gonna be challenged to uh, divert or diverse, excuse me, from uh, the path that you are walking right now, path that leads you toward a emotional exhilaration. Uh, tempted, tempted to do so. It's like playing the game through it or there, right? And someone is gonna dare you to do things that, that will not make you happy and you should uh, resist the temptation to answer the dare here. Because with uh, as, it, as it is neutral to the Nine of Pentacles, you can answer uh, the, uh, the daring call, but that will obstruct you or deprive you from jumping into leap of developments either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. And it's going to drift you further and further away from those people which are actually feeling happy with you and you are feeling happy with them as well. So uh, in other words, guys, I mean, try to not, uh, how can I say, you, well, I will put it that way, you don't have anything to prove. So if someone told, told you to prove something, that is the, the solo reason for them to do so is to um, distract you or deprive you from reaching further developments uh, into the things that you already have a good development into. So uh, the other card here, which is intentions, it is the four of wands and it is accompanied with uh, the ace of wands uh, we do have an, an active supporters into this position and they point to uh intentional wise it is kind of like going um going like a um Gaining, it does refer to gaining for enterprises that uh, you are going to face throughout the months and intentionally wise, uh, you need to kind of like explore them in their entirety, in their fullness. But those uh, gaining for enterprise, they're going to come on their own accord. They're not going to be offered to you by someone else, okay? So you're going to find them on your own because the whole point of those gaining for enterprises that you're going to face throughout the month's Aquarius is to um, uncover a slumbered skills or uh, or slumbered, uh, um, how can I say it, um, interests as well, all right? And in generally to learn a new things and you have to find them on your own accord. Additionally to that, intentionally wise, it looks like that you have to um, aim to let, uh, to not let things unfinished. OK, but just when you start doing something, um, you have to bring it to its very end, which kind of puts additional stress to the challenge, because if you answer the taunting call, you are going to feel obliged to bring it to its very end, you know, and uh, even though you may find halfway through that that was a mistake from your behalf, you will not have the audacity, if you will, to just say, OK, it's, uh, it's enough for me, I'm done, you know, and I'm not going to do that any longer. But it's kind of like you're going to feel obliged to, to move on forward with it. And for that reason, you know, it will be best if you go for only what makes you emotionally fulfilled throughout the months. You don't want to spend time with certain people. Well, that may make them, you know, feel miserable. That's not your problem, all right? Your problem, it is how you make you feel happy instead of how to satisfy someone else. Again, the month is about you, not about someone else. The other card that we do have here, uh, it represents the lesson that you need to learn. And that is going to be the last card or the strength. And it is accompanied with uh, the um, 
five of cups and it's about um it's very simple as a lesson you you, you know you and you're going to learn how not to explain yourself constantly for not wanting to do things that you don't like to do right it is just it's as simple as that and to as well you're going to learn how to show strength or perseverance excuse me through a um through patience as well so um just to give you a practical example of it, you know, someone asks you to do something, you don't want to do it, you say no, they ask you why, and you're not going and you're gonna learn not to feel yourself obliged to explain yourself about it. Why, you know? Because they will ask you why, so they can find cracks in your narrative to convince you other way around. And this is exactly where you're gonna show the perseverance, or you're gonna learn how to show perseverance here and just stand to your word saying, no, I'm not going to do it or yes, I'm going to do it. Why? Well, that's my business. It's not your business. All right. And it's all once again in favor of making yourself happy. It's, it's, this is what you're going to do throughout the month, making yourself happy, surrounding yourself only with people that makes you happy, going with a love that makes you happy, going with a career endeavors that makes you happy. It's all about that. So it's about doing things that makes you happy and not doing things that you are challenged for or you have to or, or, or you are, how can I say, obliged to. And the last card here represents the energies that are going to support you. We do have the King of Pentacles. And it is accompanied with the Five of Pentacles. So very good energies. Uh, we said here into the fourth card that you uh, into the third card, excuse me, which is the intentions that you have to bring things to their very end. And this is where exactly those energies are gonna play their role at. So what they do here is um, how can I say it? Um, abating, it's not abating, but it's kind of like suppressing was the word that I was searching for, your urge and eager to uh, uh, involve yourself with new enterprises and with new goals until you do not stabilize your current things that you are doing, all right? So, um, it's kind of like you are not going to move to the next thing. Those energies will help you not to move to the next thing until you are a hundred percent sure that whatever you are working on right now or whatever you are doing right now it is a hundred percent secure like friendships like relationships you know like a job as well so that will make you a, a very um, if you will reliable person but above everything else is gonna help you to understand the um, how do I say it mm, the value of the things you have, the value of the love you have, the value of the work you have, the value to, to value yourself, if you will, and to value your your personal performance and as well your determination toward a, um, a, a specific things. And will help you as well, whatever you build throughout the month of December, to build it as solid as you can or just as solid as so no one else can destroy it for you. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for the month of December. It looks like a, a very happy month for you guys. It looks like that many beautiful things are going to happen to you and um, you are going to surround yourself with beautiful people as well. Maybe a relationship is going to pop up from one of these, you know, maybe a, a good cooperation in regards to career is going to pop up as well from it. But the point here is, it's that, you know, you got to do whatever you decide to do. It needs to cooperate correspond with um, your feelings and then and, and you have to do it uh, you have to do only that thing these things that makes you feel good okay instead of once again answering the call of a taunting and there from a people that may be envying you or they just don't want to go that road and so on and so forth so yeah that being said that was your reading hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other next time until then Bye.